Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the limits. When we say limits, let f be a function defined on some open interval containing the number c, except passively at c itself. So, we have here our function, then our c, c here refers to our constant. In other references, they use a or k to represent the constant. Then the limit of f as x approaches c is l, written as, so we have here the limit of our function, let's say x here, as x approaches c that is equal to l. If the value of the function gets closer and closer to one and only one number, which is our L, as X takes values that are closer and closer to C. So our value of our function here, if it takes place, the value of our constant, that will must be give us one number, which is L. So later on, we're going to find the two areas here, if you take a look at this graph, as we draw closer and closer to our function, so from the negative numbers, this is our first area, and the second one, from the positive number, as we draw closer and closer to our C, those are the positive numbers will be our second area. Those are the things that we need to consider. Because if our L is different, that will give us that the limit does not exist. To understand, let's have our node here. The limit of the function refers to the value that the function approaches, not the actual value. So take note of that. Because if we're going or if you're just going to get the actual value, that is the value of the function. But here in our limits, we're going to have the values as x approaches to our constant. So to illustrate, let's have this graph. So we have here our constant. As we draw closer and closer to our constant, we have two areas here from right going to left, then from left going to right. As we draw closer and closer to our constant, that will give us our L. So the limit of F of X, as X approaches C, as you approach C, that is equal to our L here. So that is read as the limit of F of X, as X approaches C, as x approaches c is equal to l. So we are going to consider two areas from, from the negative and going to uh, from the negative to our constant then from the positive numbers to our constant. Okay to illustrate and to understand let's have some examples. Now let's have our first example. Limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 2 is equal to 5. So let us check our limit here if it is equal to 5. So again we have two areas that we need to consider. We have the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 2, we have from the, uh, from the left side going to our constant, that is the negative. And the second one, the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 2 from the right side going to our constant, which is 2, the positive. In our definition earlier, that must be equal to 5. So let us check. So first, graph our function, x plus 3. So 
our point here. Then, if we're going to graph that, our slope is 1. So, it can be like this one. Okay, this will be our... Our line. So, it must be a straight line. Okay. Then, as x approaches 2, so our constant is 2, so we need to have our line here. So we can use a broken line. So our constant is 2 here. Now, check our graph. Let's start with the, from the negative or from the left side. So going to our L. Our L here is 5. So let us verify. Our point is here. So, okay. Correct. That will give us 5. And the other one, from the positive, going to our constant, that will also give us 5. Okay. Again, the number L, or our L, must be one number or they must be the same if they are not the same that will give us does not exist so let's have example for that now let's have our second example let us use this graph to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 so we need to consider our two areas. First one is the limit of f of x, of our function, as x approaches 2, from here to the left, or that is the negative. And the second one, the limit of f of x, as x approaches, and the second one, the right side, the positive. Now, let's find first our first one, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. So our constant is 2. This is our constant. So our constant drew a broken line. So 2... Okay, now from the left, going to our constant, as we approach s to our constant, this will be our L, that will give us positive 1. And on the right, going to our constant, as we approach s, to positive 2, this will be our L, that is negative 3. Notice that our L, or our limit, are different. So therefore, the limit of F of X, as X approaches 2, does not exist because according to our definition these two must be the same so that is the application and the definition thank you for watching senior pablo team for our next lesson we're going to discuss the theorems on limits